guys, Autogamers here with another video and today we are playing another episode of Life is Strange episode 1 or I should say another part in that. Um, we're going to continue where we left off last time, we're going to get Roran's flash drive from our room in the dormitories. So, let's see if we can get some photo shots, I'm pretty sure. There are a few photo shots that we Don't can get in this area. Uh, by the way, I did notice the noise last time was slightly low on the game side, so I turned that up quite a bit. Oh. Hi, Max. Let's speak to Alyssa. Um, what are you reading? What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. Hmm. It's a bestseller. What to say? Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, fine. I'll excuse. Oh, great. We're gonna have to deal with those. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. Um. Hello. Let's speak Hi, to Samuel. Samuel. Well. Hello there. Nice. You look busy. You look busy, Samuel. I'm always up to something. Today it's sweeping, then painting windows. Just don't paint over the posters for Rachel Amber. You can't color over that sunlight. You knew Rachel? You knew Rachel? How can you know a prism? You just stare in awe. Now Interesting. I paint windows. Sure. See you later. See you later, Samuel. And watch your step around here, Max. After I sweep, I paint. Okay, so there's nothing there. Maybe. Oh, that looks like a photo spot. Photo. Yes, photo. Oh, I like these photo spots. That's directly. Oh. And that was the wrong button. Too late. Oh, great. Um. I'm going to have to find a new photo spot. Is that a photo as well with Kate? I'm pretty sure I recall that being a photo. I, I guess not. I guess I must be mistaken. Okay, let's Hi, speak Kate. to Kate. Hey, Max. Ah, oh, she actually looks happy. Awesome. Oh, that's... <laughs> you look down. Oh, God. Um... If you look down, let's get to the you point. Look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Nice, Sorry to be a drama queen. No, it's Is fine. There anything... Max, I'd like to be alone if you don't mind. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. That's fine. Max, get a clue. Oh, got that. Okay. Glad to see our campus is eco friendly. Okay. Oh, the Tabanga. Warren told me that totem is named Tabanga for a reason nobody knows. Yep. I'm going to completely walk through that and see if I can get inside the dormitories. That would be lovely. Hello, Victoria. Oh, look. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Yeah. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. So hip, so the much weight. The processor. You could barely even say that. I could I indeed barely say time. that because <laughs> I'm not an English speaker. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Damn it! Another wrong time oh, to screenshot. Oh, that pose. I'm so great at these screenshots today. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bonus. I out think of that, that one was well timed. Finally. Keep walking, hippie. No. Oh, I will keep walking. Oh, I like how the sprinklers look in this game. Ooh. No, let's not mess with that. Hmm. Maybe there's something we can do in... Oh, he left the door open. Oh, we can use the sprinkler. Oh, that's going to be lovely. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. Uh -huh. Just water. 
gas, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Let me guess, they're not going to move with this, are they? Sweet. Too predictable. So do you understand English? Get lost. No! My, I, I don't. Shut up. What do I do now? Like, reverse time. Oh, wait, wait a second. That makes more sense. Oh! That's why it says that it's like the painting thing. Get back. Get back further. Get back even further. I'm not going to turn on the sprinkler. I'm going to... Go even f further back. And I'm going to tamper with this. Oh yeah, I can actually tamper with that. That's great. Um, yeah, yeah. You didn't see anyone in the background, but if you okay, look left now... Hello, place. Samuel. There you are. Oh no. Fuck. This is... Oh, great. I pressed control again. Yay. Let's try to not do okay, that this time. This works. And he totally should have seen me there. And I'll still do the sprinkler thing. I don't care. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Jill Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. This you is going to be lovely. Outfit cost? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. But now, it's going to be even lovelier. Yeah. No way! No fucking you okay, way! Okay, Victoria. Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo! Oh, capiche? Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Well, yeah. Hello, Victoria. Hi. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Well, you were a bitch to me. I totally comfort you. But you make fun of me. Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. And no filter so before all. I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Nice threat. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. But she doesn't deserve that either. I wasn't that bad, was I? Oh god, I feel split right now. Um, shall we redo that? And see, I'm going to see what the other um, option looks like. I'm genuinely interested. Let's speak uh, to you. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. No. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. Oh you boy. Have a great Richard Avedon esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. Nice. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just I don't agree. Days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. I like this outcome more because it's more peaceful. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Dude. I don't know. Like, if I want to be a Mr. Nice Guy, I'd be like, yeah, come forward. Perfect. Um, I'd like to play this how, <laughs> how I be my irrational self. 
So I'm going to be uh, mean to her. <laughs> if she is mean to me, I'll, you'll get it back from me as well. Uh, you're not going to learn hey, anything. Victoria. What do you want, Max? Sorry, but you're not going to learn anything. No. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait, hold that pose. Okay. And no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. No. So does Nathan. Yeah. Well, great. I don't care. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I really wanted to pick the other side. But that just wouldn't be my response if someone was that, that rude to me at that point in time. Um, I'd like to stay more true to myself in that sense. Hi, Courtney. Oh yeah, oh, they're going to be lovely. Victoria um, is going to be pissed we took so long. Oh great, I'm going to get into trouble for that, am I? Let's see. How sad. I didn't write anything. Sure, I'll write something. To say. The memes are real. Wow. Hello, little room. Hi. How are you doing? Probably shouldn't be asking Home a room questions. Home, my favorite cocoon. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. I don't think it's a good idea to hang your power strips like that, but no. Yeah. Yes. I don't mind about that too much. Let's use that to get it. So, I'm so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. <laughs> Camera porn. <laughs> of course. Porn makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Well then, get that USB. What should? Why is it not on the laptop? I'm going to have to search for it. Really? Open drawer. USB, come here. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be fine. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky hmm. my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Yeah, I, you should be happy because it costs a lot. Oh, should we water? I know that's like a thing when you water this plant too much, it's you going to be dead. Me. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. I'll give her water today, but not every day. Look at the sticky note. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Oh, now I have to she the borrowed a flash Dana. drive. You silly little bugger. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Oh, great. We're going to have more tasks, are we? Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Hey, Juliet. Speak. Hey, Juliet. Is What's... everything cool? Oh, okay. yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. Ridiculous. What did she do? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's yeah. my last name? I'm pretty sure it's Juliet Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Yeah, I know now, but actually the first time I played for this game, I, mean I, don't care. I did say Watson as well, and I was surprised. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm correct. Yay! I would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria. Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Yeah, of course, it'll be- oh. God. No. Ah, oh, fuck. That's going to be annoying, isn't it? 
I won't make a cut here, but if I remember next time, if I make these mistakes again, I won't cut it. Uh, space. 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 Come on. Come on. Yes, please. Please. It's still Judith Watson. By the way, I know the space bar on my keyboard sounds loud, to say the least, um, in the videos. I'm aware I can't really fix it right now, but I will probably fix it at some point. I will probably get some... Uh... I'm planning to buy a pop filter for my microphone, because there's none. I don't think you can hear much of that, but there currently is no pop filter Let's on my microphone. Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here, and this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. Ooh, she won't like that. Oh my goodness. I want to see that photo. Oh, man, that's going to... Oh, great. I'm in love with that, but I'm going to rewind that. Uh, one time I do intend to use control key. Because I don't want to make her even more mad than I already did with my realistic response. I wouldn't personally respond like that at all. Da great. Da great. I don't want to see all these missing persons. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much. How insecure. Why would you? Oh, great. Uh, let's check her laptop. It has to be on there. That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? Hipster alert. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Well, I guess there's going to be a printer somewhere. Oh, look. It's there, but... What? I probably should turn on the power or something first. Uh, hello? Oh wait, oh! That's logic. Somewhat. Should have checked if there was a paper printer at all. <gasps> no! <laughs> yes. I understand that I printed something. Please don't make me do things over constantly in this whole let's play. I should really set the instant rewind to a different button. Because this is going to annoy the fuck out of me, the whole let's play. So let's quickly run over because I'm done with this darn task. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You Ooh. set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Let's speak to Dana a bit. Hey Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Victoria isn't nice. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. <laughs> oh, should I act or clueless? Yes, I'm going to act or clueless. Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. Mm -hmm. 
pregnancy test. That looks like a home pregnancy test. Yes, I can tell. Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. Someone has to pregnancy. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Wait, maybe I can talk to her about Not that if I refer. Her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. Yes, I could. I will. First, let's take the flash drive. Must protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. Speak. Hey, Dana. Hello. I heard a rumor about you. Dana. I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? You just said it! You're freaking pregnant! You're pregnant? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have... Yeah, me neither. But I did. Anyway. Oh. What about the other... Deadbeat Dad? You can catch him on the 40-yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Ooh. <laughs> Who then? And you don't have to tell me. In fact, you better not. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. <laughs> Now I feel too wiped out to leave. Oh. No! Oh, God. Well, let's try the other dialogue options then, right? I'm going to be going through this anyway. What? Nobody important. It's like a... Of course. Of course. I... was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other? She has an abortion. You can catch him on the 40 yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Not my business. Sorry to pry. It's not my business. And I won't be at the game Friday. Not much school spirit, I guess. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway, you better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. <laughs> yep. He doesn't really need an excuse to bug me, though. Ooh. Ooh. Probably should have checked what's on the heart thing. USB. Think I'm a cheeky. I don't know. Fuck this shit. Ow. Yeah, that's not. Damn. I better rewind. Let's warn Alyssa. Alyssa, warn. move your head. If you insist, Max. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Speak. Nice. That was awesome. Thank you. No problemo. No problem. You have quick reflexes. Years of mad dodging skills. Bullies never change. That's why you're better off. You're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. <laughs> yep. Ooh, photo! Yay! I saw it correctly earlier. It's going to be a photo moment. Yay. Okay. So we have a few more photos. We have the sunset photo. We have a bird. We have the RV. We have the mirror in my bedroom. I missed that. Oh, that's stupid. Can I still get in? No, I missed a photo. Well, I guess this is going to be 100% then. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. I didn't intend to have one. Let's go here. Oh, hi, Kate. Ooh. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. I will definitely intervene. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? 
Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. That's something, because I don't recall anything. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. Yay. I felt like an everyday hero. Yep, but I don't care for Mr. David Madsen. Any people to talk to right now? Oh, we're going straight to the parking lot. Probably missed the skateboard photo with the guy that was there in the corner as well. Great. I am so great at making everything in the game. Can't even get some foot to ops. That, that's... I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Surprising amount of bikes for an American city. I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Um, I'm, I'm sorry about Zachary. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zack yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Yeah, sure. Uh -huh. Sure. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Oh, that's almost... that's sad. Oh, graffiti. <laughs> Come on over here. DRV from the photo! Oh, oh. It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. We didn't actually write clean me on that. I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay Lots. I actually think that would be a lovely photo and I wouldn't regret that. Yay! Even if it has consequences, I don't give a fuck! Max! Get your ass over here! Oh, Warren has a car. Look at Warren in his Wayback Machine. He's a brave man. I don't think if we're that age, like, you have to be 18 here to drive a car. Are they? What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. Ooh. No problem. That was lovely. Check out my new wheel. Nice hook torch. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. Major bitch move. No worries. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see your ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? No, I'm sorry, I have been busy. No, I've been way too busy with class. And life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. <laughs> Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Ooh, he, I like that. Faster! No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. <laughs> Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I probably need to talk. 
I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. You know what's funny? So real, it was like a movie. Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of oh, the- Oh, hey, students. Nathan. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw, now. Answer me, bitch! Oh, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Um, I could probably take a step back now. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey, Sick habit. Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom! No. <gasps> you deserve that. Max? Chloe? Whoa! You again. Go, go, I got this. No, oh, you don't really have it. No. Your punk ass is out of there now. Don't even try to run. Nobody. Nobody. So sorry for leaving you two behind. Okay, well that was eventful. Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. Yeah, this that's that's news. Ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Definitely. Don't give me the wouldn't expect it any other way. Pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Yes, that's a good thumbnail, actually. Way better than the first ones. Hopefully nothing. Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. Yeah. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Yeah. I guess. It was cool, but... I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> of course. Of course. Of course. Let me take a sip of water by the way. Sorry if you hear that. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. Don't you use that you are a freak, Shoy. Don't use the money. Geek. Broken. Oh, man, are you serious? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. <laughs> my step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I have Imagine. Specific, tiny tools. <laughs> my stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. 
Just Look imagine if you'd actually have a camera producing shit instead of like Polaroids. <laughs> like printing your photo in literal shit. <laughs> oh, that's an hilarious note. That's just hilarious. The image that just came up in my mind. Ah, uh, great. Well then. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. <laughs> That's a way to say it, yeah. Oh hey. Oh. A bit too much boobs for me there. Quite a messy room. Jeez. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step Fuhrer makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. This will be a mess to clean up. I... Oh god. Well then. I don't want to like be nosy. Let's just... Speak. So tell me. What does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown up? Um, oh, I'm going to party all night. Party all night. Not little Miss Wallflower. I bet you've never even been to a party. Oh, right. I went to your birthday blowout. Max, you were 12 years old. That's sad. You should stick to taking photos. Probably. Ooh, we learned something. Oh, my precious, we launched so something. Me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown up? I take photos. I take photos of me, the world, everything. It may sound sad, but I have a blast. It doesn't sound that sad. I'm happiest when I've got a great image in my lens. I'm not lonely, not afraid. Now that's more inspiring. I don't feel so totally hopeless. I'm glad it made you feel a bit better. Hey, did you find the disc yet? Oh, we're going to have to find music. Let's search the box. That is definitely music. And that is definitely Rage Rumber. With Chloe. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. Putting it mildly. Oh, That's Rachel Amber. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Shout out to me for the storm that's yeah, coming up no soon! Idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. I probably see why. I see why. I bet your mom was not too happy. She was happy enough to marry a Nazi. Reason number 356 to escape. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? That's depressing. 
I'll gladly put on some music. I like music. Um, hi fi. Probably needs power, considering I just saw the power strip there. Oh, I like the lighting. Yep, I did need power. CD. Game, please don't make me fucking cry here. That is actually Santa Monica Dream from Angus and Julia Stone. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. That song that was played at my granny's funeral two years ago. I shouldn't bug Chloe now. Plus, I need those tools. Um, yeah. I don't quite know what to say right now. I don't want to listen to it longer right now. I am dealing with my missing granny. But that's nothing to talk about in a video like this. Anything here? That's a bathrobe. Wow, bathrobe. We don't have those too often in the Netherlands. Oh, can I take a... F oh. Wait, what? My mirrored image looks very creepy. I should probably fiddle with the settings a bit. Someday. Can I... Oh, I can enter that. Yeah. Okay. And this must be Chloe's parents' room. Ooh. Man, I am nosy today. That's a crack and a hood. Let's open that. And yeah, that that that's. Oh shit! Poor thing. I bet I could do something to save it. I'm glad I was here because I can save the poor thing now. Open. Yes, I saved the birdie. Thank you. You shouldn't be in here, though. You've been resurrected, birdie. Fly, be free. Can I get a photo of that? No. Maybe later. Okay, open the door. Let's go down to the garage for some tools. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I'm going to be cutting this episode soon though. It's getting rather long. Nope. Yeah. Someone locked it from the other side. Ooh, a tap from Kate. No problem. It's fine. I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. Do we have a photo op for this area? Uh, maybe the bird? Um, maybe. Maybe later. I'm, I don't want to check for it now. The tools, I need here. tools! Ooh, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. Let's turn the shakies on. That was very smart, dumbass. No I can probably just reach that. Come on. Let's see. The tools are stuck, out of reach, and no way in hell to get them. Brilliant, Max. Brilliant. Okay, let's try this again. And this time push that under. Let's hope I'm not going to get a copyright strike for the music in this game. That'd be awful. I didn't last time. But I've heard other YouTubers that are playing this game did get copyright strikes for some of the music that's in here. Well, it is within fair use, so long you're playing this game. Because you are playing the game and not playing the music yes, as an art piece. Mad skills, Max. But, 
And I'm giving commentary, that's why. I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. Probably. Um oh, play. Chloe, if you're listening, Pete was cruising home off duty and told me he saw you near that garbage dump. Now I've ordered you. Told you to stay away from that place. It's dangerous. And you got no idea what kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. Meh. Well, basically, I didn't know what I was talking about anymore. It was probably something important. <laughs> like always, when I forget everything I'm doing. Let's go. You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. Let's fix my camera then. Well, look of not being able to do anything about what you want to actually do. So, I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Booyah, you skank. Karma's a bitch. Yep. Nice framing, too. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. That's a bit lot of a conclusion from my butterfly photo. I, I, I was there. I was there. Hiding in the corner. Damn. You were a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. <laughs> that is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Not at all. Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? I wanted to. I wanted to? What if he goes on some rampage? Nathan fronts like a thug, but he's a spoiled punk-ass biatch. He would have shot you, Chloe. That's a fact. I should tell the principal. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. Seriously, I didn't blab to anybody. Promise. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. Yep, you obviously do. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. <sighs> this was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And mm -hmm. I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yeah. Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. And yep, coincidentally, yep, in the brain. Let's dance. Not one of my favorite songs. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> Piano Fire by Sparkle Horse. <laughs> this game is like the embodiment of my music style. This day couldn't get any stranger. Photo. Fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. I can indeed not dance, and I'd probably be yes, something like you that. Say, Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. This is not really a music I dance on anyway. Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. 
Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. No, I didn't Chloe, intend to do that. I'm coming. Closet. Chloe, you're stalling. I'm That's anticlimactic. Man's I've been closeted for a well, if you understand what I'm saying with that. That's not do that. Chloe, I'm coming. Move the lamp. Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. And I'm One hidden. Second. My bra is stuck. Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat. We'll do that to you. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? I will... I don't think it's a good idea. Sorry. Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon. Hey, leave Joyce out of this. I wish you'd leave Joyce, like now. Chloe, I'm sorry. I care about your mother and you just keep pushing me. Don't touch me again, asshole. That's the last time. Or I'll bring the cops in here so fast. You're not that. Dumb. It is abuse to do that. To have you busted. Chloe, someday you'll grow up. Hey, you okay? Welcome to the real step douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hick hole. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help? Well, yeah, I'm going to get out of the window. Right, let's speak. Can you go already? I want to get the hell out of here. Yeah, I'm going to go out of the window, and I'm going to, as soon as it saves, going to close off this episode. Um, it's been long enough. I think it's been nearly an hour. Um, if I have my time set correctly, uh, it's been long enough. Just trust me on that. Um, I'll see you guys very probably in the next episode. Hopefully pretty soon, but I'm not going to make promises as I am still not doing too great with the migraines, as I've already said before. Um, I actually don't feel too well while recording now, so I probably made a bunch of derp up somewhere. Just don't mind me when I do, okay? And I guess that'll be it for today, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye! <laughs>